nursing room adding is removing tattered rods onto my CV. Yes! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Jojo and thank you so much for being here. So in today's episode, I bring to you the long-awaited kitchen recover. I know I've been teasing you guys here and there for so long with the kitchen makeover but finally I have been able to complete it and uh, I have put so much love and labor into it so hopefully this is something that you're going to enjoy watching as much as I did making over the space. At times uh, you may think that uh, these makeover projects are flawless but um, with every makeover comes its own challenges. For instance for my kitchen I started with a white and gold theme but when it came to the knobs, I could not get the gold color that would go with my color scheme. So I searched long and hard. I even had to do like a sticker on my IG asking where I can get good knobs in Nairobi. And uh, a few of you gave me a few recommendations. And uh, I did go to Plycells. And uh, when I went there, they had a variety of knobs, but when I saw the black knobs, something just changed. I loved how slick they were, and uh, from that point, I had now to change my color scheme from white and gold now to white and black. But uh, over time, you get to visit many places that sell home decor stuff and um, you might spot, you spot something that um, you think will go very well with your space and now you go back to the drawing board. You start now the thinking process all over again because you have to, to get that particular item and incorporate it in your project. So with it, that's why... Partly, that's why I delayed with the kitchen makeover because uh, like the knobs, they took me like a whole month before I could find the right knobs. But I'm glad I waited. I did not settle because with that came a beautiful, beautiful combination. So hopefully you're going to enjoy the makeover project. And uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd really love to read your feedback. Welcome guys to day one of the makeover. So today basically what I'm doing is uh, removing everything from the cabinets. I'll sand down the, the wooden part of the cabinets and um, use my paint of choice. This is what I'm using. So this is um, oil based paint. So you have to mix it with uh, Athena. And then since I don't have a mixing bowl, is uh, what I'll cut and uh, this will be my mix it bucket well get the paints and uh, my thinner so I'm using white spirit for this so without wasting more time let's uh, clear everything out and uh, get painting So guys, as you can see behind me, I have done the prep work. So I've removed everything from the cabinet and um, the drawers. I've placed um, a paper on top of the countertop so that the paint does not spill on the countertop. But anyway, that, that does not matter because you're going to be doing a contact paper on top of the counters. So that's okay so the last time guys i painted without the gloves my nails got spoiled so this time around i'm i'm not taking any chances i have to switch up well so starting off is a paint work no not painting sanding so we're going to sand down this before we start painting so yeah let's get to work guys and uh for sanding we're using so for sanding, uh, this is a P100, that's what I'm using to sand down. So I'm not sanding exact, I'm not sanding all the way to its grain. So just a little bit so that the, the paint can adhere. And this is the part I hate most. Painting 
using oil based paint because they smell they smell a lot so that's why you have to have your mask on and the glasses for when you're sanding so that at least the dust does not get into your eyes so let's get to work guys I have forgotten uh, thanks to crown paint uh, if you remember this was uh, during cancer breast cancer awareness month they did send out this beautiful uh, overall and this is what I'm using right now the last time I painted using my t-shirt which have got spoiled because of the paint splatters so today I'm all suited up thank you so much crown paint and uh, I'm using crown not sponsored but I love their paints and uh, that's why I've been using them and also on the wall, I'll be using a crown silk emulsion for the walls. But anyway, let's continue painting. Sanding, sorry. So guys, I've finished sanding. I hope you can hear me. And uh, now I'm um, mixing the paint with the uh, spirit. So this is my mixing bowl. Everything goes here. And then I'll um, mix it with the spirit. So this is the white spirit. Uh, I'm putting it uh, inside the empty container. So a little bit, you're not using much. So like that. And then I'll close this and shake it. So this is like mixing a cocktail. Which this is like a cocktail. Just that you're using paint. And I think this is enough. So I'll put this in the mixing bowl. so guys i'm done with the first coat on that one and uh, you can see the difference already that is only one coat and uh, this nothing has been done yet just sanding but uh, you can see how bright it looks already yay so i can't wait to for you guys to see the final product so the knobs definitely are going to be changed but you can see how they pop with the white coat already and then here are the drawers this is only coat one so definitely doing more coats on this but i um, loving the color already i'm done painting the first coat and uh, as you can see there is a big big difference so i'll uh, be changing out the knobs don't worry about that so what i'm going to do is now as you can see it's not uh, it has not covered everywhere so what i'll do is uh, i'll do the second coat and then tomorrow i'll get started on the wall so i don't think i'll be showing you guys painting again because it's something that is repetitive but uh, loving the progress so far good morning good morning guys so today is day two of the makeover and uh i'm waiting for the paint to dry this is uh, the second coat so today what we are doing is i'm saying we because we are doing this together me and you guys so today is uh painting the door and also i need to get rid of that curtain box so i have not been having curtains for the longest time 
because uh, I'm not on ground floor so where I am people can't really see me through the kitchen but uh, I'm not so sure if I need to get the metallic rods for this if I get rid of the cutting rods so that is what I'm still debating on and um, I think I'll be doing a poll on my IG so if you don't follow me on IG kindly make sure you give me a follow at DIY with Jojo because uh, I have been doing this project with everyone who's over there so if I need help with anything I do a poll and they help me decide so for the cutting rods definitely they are going they are so bulky and the color it's just like the cabinet so that is what we are doing today so removing the the curtain box and then painting the door and then the other exciting thing will be painting the wall so as you can see there's a big difference i've not done the second coat on this so that's why you can still see the brown color through the white paint but uh, we're going to do a white wall all over and you'll get to see the difference so that is what we're doing today just sanded it a little bit so that the paint can adhere well but i want to do also the frame has to be white plus the door so guys this is the first coat on the door but i know it doesn't look so well but wait until i'm done with the second coat then you'll get to see the difference so guys these are the curtain boxes that i'm supposed to get rid of so i have this longer one and then moving to this other side i have this smaller one so i'm not sure because this window is small i have that so this one is where i do have the door and then like a small window over there so i don't know if i should do blind or do curtain rods but uh, i'm sure my peeps over on instagram are going to help me out but that is my dilemma for now Let's see if I can be able to help this stuff. Hmm. Back at it. So hopefully, hopefully this time around, I'm able to remove it.
done here yet so far. It's only one screw that's remaining. But it's giving me a hard time. It's not easy. But the satisfaction of getting this thing off is everything. So don't mind me if I'm shouting. I'm happy. This is the first time I'm doing this. And I have nailed it. So I'll remove the other one. And then we'll have to fix this up with the filler before painting now the white paint all over the walls but i'm so excited <sighs> yay Ooh. so guys i need to start painting the wall and i need to do filler this is where the curtain box was so i need to apply filler first before i start painting and also on that other side so that was the other curtain box over there and uh, filler will fix the holes and the dents that you're seeing on the wall right now so right now let me mix it and then you can get applying it on the wall so this is my filler i have um, mixed i'm mixing it with water and then i use the car platter party anyway this cartoon to apply it on the wall i have mixed in the filler and that is all i'll be applying on top there So guys, this is the paint that I'm using for the walls. As you can see, the white on the cabinet is looking so good. So I want to have the same look on the wall. I have put a little bit of water. I've already emptied it, just like I did show you. And uh, now we're going to mix our cocktail.
factory door i decided to go with something different so the knobs are like this since the door is a little bit bigger than the than the others so that's why i went with this option just a quick update as uh, I was editing the video I saw that it was too long so far it's a uh, one hour 22 minutes and um, I'm not trying to make a movie over here so I thought it would be wise to split it into two so part one is uh, the one that you just completed watching and then part two will be up next week on Friday and uh, yeah so I thought maybe I'll give you a quick update before i head out because i need to finish dressing up and um head out and start another vlog that uh, will be coming after part two of the kitchen reveal so so far you've seen what i did i did paint the wall i did uh, paint the cabinets 
and also put up the knobs so next week i'm going to show you what i did after um, pulling down the curtain box so i'll show you what went up there and then the other thing is what i did to my backsplash and counter top tiles because i needed to change all that and also lighting and um, how everything else came together wonderfully so that is it for today's part one if you did like the video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and uh, i'd really love to know your feedback so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for hit the red subscribe button below i'll see you next week on friday with now the rest of the kitchen reveal bye bye